I'm pleased because I think it's the right direction for the club for the future. I think the main assurance that people were looking for was that the essential character of our club will, will not be fundamentally changed by the introduction of women members. Um, that foursomes, match play, golf will remain our staple diet here. That uh, rounds of golf will take less than three hours to complete uh, and that we'll enjoy each other's company. We've got quite a complicated admissions process and we have a waiting list. Uh, it's probably going to be at least a couple of years before we have the first woman member, but that depends on the number and, uh, of women who are proposed as candidates and, and how quickly they move through the process. They don't apply, they have to be proposed and seconded by members, but anybody who's interested in becoming a member of, of Muirfield, I, I would say go for it. Well it was uncomfortable at the time. Uh, as far as the members are concerned it really made very little difference to the day-to-day -day life in the, in the club um, but obviously yeah nobody likes to be the subject of criticism in the press and, and the media. I think people have, have understood that um, the club has come a long way in quite a short space of time uh, and certainly I think quite a lot of people were encouraged by the fact that we quite quickly announced that we were intending to have a second vote uh, and that reassured people. But we've been put under no pressure and no um, criticism from, from the local community. Well that's a decision for the, the RNA. We certainly would very much like to see the Open come back here in the future uh, and I hope that it will.